fight commentary breakdowns. Rob, this is Taiwanese MMA, and there's a Yu Wing Chun guy, I almost said Yung Chun. There's a Wing Chun guy, Yung Chun could be a style too, but a Wing Chun guy named Silala, which is a really stereotypical Taiwanese name. Taiwan got influenced by Japan a lot, okay. so they're kind of kawaii sometimes. Like nobody mm -hmm. in mainland China would call themselves Silala. You'd get made fun of. They look like they might be like maybe either 155ers or 170. I see. I think he said 56 kilograms. Okay. That's, um, dude, that's pretty light then. I might have misheard. 56 kilograms. I don't know. Anyways, here they go. So, our Wing Chun guy's the guy, I believe he's the guy on the, um, with the weird white hair. Okay. Very kawaii Japanese hair. Okay. Ooh, good low kick. Saw that. That was really solid. Yep. Oh, interesting stance he's got there. Low hands. Yep. I, the Wing Chun guy's definitely the guy in white. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, got clipped over the left, top left shoulder. Oh, did you Ooh. see that? Oh, he got he to gotta put that hand up. Yep. Now if he's he's starting to figure it out a little bit, but his hands are low again. Yep, yep. He's going to get that lead hook. Huh, black again, black shirt's going to get that Ooh, the guy, um, white hair guy did the low kick back. Mm hmm The guy in the black shirt knows his lead hook is landing. Yep. Yep. He's just he's just waiting for the guy to drop his hands. Yep. It's interesting how this guy's adapted Wing Chun pretty well. Yeah. The only, the only problem is he's not bringing his hand back to protect his yeah. chin. Yeah. Notice that too. And maybe that's um, a bad side effect of his Wing Chun training. Yeah. But and he's doing Wing Chun with gloves, so it is possible to do Wing yeah. Chun's with gloves. Yeah, black sh black shirt has these. Ooh! Oh, okay. He got hit with his own medicine. Yep. Mm. Wow. Yeah, black shirt guy was doing some big looping punches, and uh, the Wing Chun guy adapted and said, "I'm going to use that." Yep. That's that's exactly the punch that he got caught with. Yep. Wow. wow. Yeah. Dude, this is interesting. And the wing check actually blocked a few times, too, I just mm -hmm. realized. Mm -hmm. Like, he actually... And that's that's where you said... Mm -hmm. Wow. Big looping punch. Boom, right there. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of, like, doing more... It wasn't exactly a hook. It was more kung fu style type of... Mm. Yeah, they use this type of punch, these looping punches they use a lot in combat sambo. Ah, uh, makes sense. Because if you miss, sometimes you can go directly into a judo throw or a sambo throw. Interesting. Who are they going to give it to? Ooh, they gave it to Wing Chun guy. Okay. Wow. All right. Not what I expected. but Deep ball. Deep bomb. So Taiwanese. Um, Very typical of Taiwan. Look at the girls. No booty. Nothing. <laughs> hey, I got no booty too. So who am I to say? But Monster energy. Monster energy. I guess they are drunk in Taiwan, too. So that was interesting, man. As we can see, a lot of times when Wing Chun guy steps into the ring and becomes boxing, but he managed to maintain some of his cool Wing Chun kind of strikes and all that. Yeah, yeah. in the very beginning of the round, you could tell, see how low his hands are? Yeah. You can tell he was getting lit up by those big looping lead hooks. Mm -hmm. And then um, he adapted in the middle of the round and then caught... The black shirt guy with his own medicine. Yep. And that was a great... That was He fantastic. started out very strong with that yeah, kick. Yeah, that was a good kick. And, but like you said, look at look at his hands, man. Yeah. Asking so, uh, to get hooked. Yeah. And he throws good front kicks, too. I mean, these guys are both very fast. Yep. I don't think clinching was allowed, but I think if clinching were allowed, I have a feeling this this boxer would have done better mm. if he had some Thai boxing training or whatever. Yeah, his chin was really high. Black shirt chin was very high as he was striking. True. Stuck out, I noticed. Mm -hmm. And that's a, it's just, look, it's almost like a natural habit. I notice sometimes I do that too. Like sometimes even when I train jujitsu, mm -hmm. like my chin's sticking out. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much, a, I mean, you really... You really don't want to be doing these extended combos because unless you're moving, unless you're pivoting off and finding angles, like you're just standing right in front of them trying to throw combos, yeah. you're going to get lit up with a counter. Exactly. Like that. And like that. 
Like, so if he had delivered that hook and then ducked under, he would have been fine, but yep. he just stood right there for the counter. Exactly. I'm going to slow that down because I think we actually saw a lot of Wing Chun in that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was... Okay, all right. I, I do like how he's striking. He's striking a lot with the palm area. He's not quite mm -hmm. using his fists as much. Mm -hmm. So... He's really staying true to a lot of his Kung Fu roots. Mm -hmm. It's like a better version of the 1954 fight we saw back in the day. Oh if you remember gosh, that. Yeah. But because they were trying to hit with that palm area too, but they yeah. just look so amateur. Yeah. Wow. Try not to break those hands. Exactly. So, courtesy of WOTD, almost sounds like the World Trade Organization. <laughs> and, oh, this is actually his channel. This is Silala, the Wing Chun Fighters channel. If you see this Silala... I'm sure you can kick my butt, but this kawaii type of naming is like very, very like indica indicative that you're Taiwanese. And notice I said Taiwanese, all my mainland audience, I know you'll get mad at me for saying that. But as of right now, it's its own little thing, so. Jerry, so controversial. I know, I'm getting controversial here. But so this is <laughs> Tsilala, go follow him. Tsi means like strange. Lala is just like generically Japanese type of kawaii thing to say. Guys, leave your comments below. Fight commentary breakdowns out. Peace.